Hello everyone, this is Psy Soldier here, continuing with our Let's Play Skyrim modded as the Necromancer. I have recovered from our crash here, and we are going to continue on our quest here to go to Riverwood. I've actually gone and I disabled a couple of the mods that I had uh, activated recently, which was uh, Skyrim... A couple of the mods that had to do with guards. Um... Uh, I believe it is going to be the diverse guards for different cities. I forget what the name of the mod was, actually. But it was uh, two different guard mods. One of them I actually have activated right now. And the other one I have deactivated. But I have seemed to notice some improvement with uh, summoning after disabling. But I'm not... a completely sure yet uh, it's possible that that could have had some effect on it or might not have all I know is we're just gonna play around with it a little bit with that mod deactivated and at least give it a better try to see if maybe that really was the cause of the problem or not from the little bit of playing around I've done with it so far I have noticed an improvement though Great. Step right in front of my arrows. Yes, kill the mud crabs. The big one, the red one. Get it. Don't let it kill you. Chop it in the face. Alright, excellent. So we should have some new chitins. Wow! There's like 12 of them here. My gosh. Let's take all of them. That is a big son of a gun. This one has even more. Holy moly. How much does this big red one have? Less than the other two. Yeah. Uh, somebody's over here. I don't know if they're enemies. Oh, they're being chased by a boar. He just got killed by a boar. Oh, wonderful. I just shot my own skeleton. Okay. I have music. What's up here? I'll let my skeletons handle that. I, on the other hand, am going to... Holy crap. How did that happen? Uh, Porky Pig. I'll take all that. There's Porky Pig. Let's go ahead and raise Porky Pig from the dead. Ah, Porky Pig is too powerful. How about this dead guy that Porky Pig killed? Balbus. Oh, wow, he's got a dangerous heart. A light backpack. That's useful. <laughs> Bulbous's fork. Okay, I have to take that just, just for the sheer amusement of it. Uncommon taste. What is this guy, a food critic? He's carrying a fork and he has a book called Uncommon Taste. You know what? Let's raise the food critic. Come with me, sir. You can, uh, sample more foods as we travel and explore Skyrim. Oh, 
Well, right now, I think the only thing you'll want is brains. 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 All right. So, apparently Riverwood is on the other side of these mountains. I suppose there's a little path right there I could have taken. Might go up and through there and back down. But I guess we'll go this way. Can I get another barbarian? Doesn't look like it. How about an archer? Indeed. I'm not completely convinced yet that the uh, the guard mod was at fault, but there seems to be some minor improvement to something. I don't know. Still, it's like half the time almost it's not working. It's quite strange. When I went and deactivated all the uh, recent mods that I had installed. I went and summoned in like several different locations, and every single one of them was successful. Hello. Was that skeevers? It's a skeever attack! I lost a skeleton slave to a skeever, of all things. Let's go ahead and summon another slave, why not? I might be able to uh, support a couple slaves. There he is. So it's nice and warm here. That's nice. Uh, I guess that's one of the good things about adventuring close to Whiterun. Okay. I suppose I could just kind of cut up over those mountains there. But let's just keep going around. I'm going to have quite a few minions following me around here. The uh, skeleton slaves are pretty much darn near worthless. But... They do soak up a few hits. Alright, we are at our maximum minion count now. So let's go ahead and... Switch to our bow. I guess that means I have 11 minions out. It's not a terribly bad number. What the heck is this place? I don't recall this place. Ah, we have some lavender. What? Cancel. Can I rename you? I don't even know what I'm hitting to do that. I'm doing it like on... Oh, wait. 
Rename it. Okay. Does it only work on inanimate objects? Hmm. Kind of thinking it was the enter key. Can't be the enter key. How? What? You threatening me? Sir, I will have my skeletons rip out your tongue and feed it to this chicken here. Don't, don't walk away from me when I'm talking to you. What? I'll shoot you in the back of the head, sir. Yeah, you just keep on walking. Yeah. That's what I thought. I need lots of flowers. I think it might be pretty close to time to uh, go and practice my alchemy skills again. I know one thing though, I could definitely use uh, an upgrade for my bow. <laughs> this thing kind of sucks, to be honest. I shot that man in the head, and, uh, he's like, is someone there? Hello? <laughs> it's just not the kind of thing you would expect after, uh, getting shot in the head. I guess it just kind of goes to show how completely pathetic my bow is. So anyways, let's go ahead and level up. Apparently, we just snuck past something. Let's go ahead. I guess we'll... I don't know. I'm really tempted to start putting some in health. Ah, uh, what do we want to do? Let's put this one in health. No. Let's keep magic out just a little longer. So we are at 55 now. I'm definitely not going to go for another rank of Legion of the Dead yet. <sighs> Master of Control could help, but like I said, I want to put another point into Ritual Expertise. And just see if that improves this uh, problem we're having with summoning. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and yeah, make sure I've got my game saved. Just in case if it has absolutely no effect, I might not want to keep it in Ritual Expertise. I may want to go ahead and put my point into something else. But we are going to try out another point in Ritual Expertise. Because I do believe I set it up so that increasing your Ritual Expertise also increases the range at which you can cast uh, your spells. Which the description doesn't actually say that. But it does affect the range at which you can cast. Not just the mana cost. And the uh, casting time, but also the range. So, <laughs> kill him. Thank you. Tell you what, uh, where's the barbarian at? You, sir, how would you like to be the next contestant? Wow. I can't kill our enemies with uh, my bow, but apparently I can kill a freaking barbarian. Let 
Let's uh kill one more. Uh I don't want a slave. You sir. Kill him. <laughs> It's funny how they just turn on each other. All right, let's try barbarian. Well, so far that had absolutely no effect. Actually, you know what? I think we have to wait just a little while. We're actually going to have our spell replaced, or we should. Who are these guys? What was that? Thought I heard something. Bandits! Bandit Woman of the Hammer? Okay, apparently that uh, took care of all them. All right, let's check something out here. Hmm. We may have an issue here. Okay. Apparently we do have an issue going on with that. I am going to go ahead and reload. And we will put our skill point into something else. I'll have to take a look at the, uh, at the mod and see if something is, uh, going on with that because we actually should have had our summon skeleton barbarian our summon uh, archer we should have had our uh, spells taken away from us and replaced with something else which means that the spells that are in my favorites uh, box should have disappeared and I should have had some new spells added to my to my list. So let's go ahead and I'm quite tempted to put another point into master of control. I'm also tempted by Hasten Dead. But I think at this particular point in time, I prefer to have more skeletons. Now that means having them cost less magicka.
All right, so we have these uh, mages up here. Die, sir. All right. We have my little skeleton army killing these guys. Oh, took him out. All right, they're both dead. Excellent. And we got some mountain flowers out of it, too. All right. You know what? I think a bandit mage is better than our little uh, Bilbo here. Goodbye, Bilbo. Of course, now that I've killed him, I probably won't be able to resurrect this guy. But it's worth a try. Raise zombie. Indeed, of course I can't. How about this guy? No. I need, like, uh, summon dread zombie or something. Hey, a necklace of minor health. I can certainly use that. Smith leather armors. Oh, it only weighs a pound. Let's take it. And we have a sweet roll. Let's go ahead and eat. I'll eat that sweet roll. Or actually, I'll have some baked potatoes. May as well eat the stuff that's, uh... Stolen first. And nobody can detect something stolen in my stomach. And do I have any water? I do. All right. So apparently those mages just, uh, I robbed this Breton here. Corpse note. Okay, let's read the corpse note. Where is that? Right here. Corpse note. If you are reading this, then I am most likely dead. A group of bandits ransacked my home and took most everything valuable I own. The worst is, they took a pendant that has been in my family for many generations. Most of my family is dead, so that pendant was the last connection I had with any of them. I am going after those scoundrels and getting my pendant back, even if it is the death of me. Okay, so that's it. There are no other pages. And apparently it was the death of her. I thought it might be like a quest to uh, deliver the family heirloom to her, uh, you know, only surviving child or something. Who knows? But apparently it's a whole lot of nothing. And actually, I need to go ahead and equip that pendant because that's kind of nice. Where did that thing go? Not there. Uh... Necklace of Minor Health, yes. That's somewhat useful. That bumps my health up to 90. Alright. Let's go ahead and get another archer out. Maybe I can get one more, too.
I'm thinking I'm probably going to go ahead and reactivate that, uh, the unique diverse guards or hold guards, uh, mod, because I'm thinking that's probably actually not the culprit. I may actually just go ahead and deactivate all the, uh, mods together that I had reinstalled at that particular point in time and, uh, play without those for a little bit. And see if it makes any really noticeable difference with all of them uninstalled. Anyways, where the heck are we at? Oh, we're kind of passing it. I've gone the wrong way. We've apparently gone way too far. I don't have enough magicka. How about for a uh, slave? I guess they're good for nothing if not a... Maybe a small distraction against the enemy, possibly. Okay, so... Yeah, I need to keep going around this way. How did I end up that far past what I needed to go? All right, we are at our maximum minion count. It's like that's freaking white run right there. I must have I should have gone between these two uh mountains here and I just kept going. Yes, this is correct. Actually it looks like we're close to a uh a mountain cave or something here. Well, we might go ahead and check that out and Maybe kill some bandits or some trolls or something. Should be really close. If I can get to it. Eh. I need to climb. Ah, here's a little trail leading up. What is this place? Oh, have I? Excuse me. <laughs> Don't mind my skeletons. Yes. Okay, follow me now. Yes. I let my skeletons go first. I'll just go ahead and loot your friend here while my skeletons kill the rest of you. A note to Rudolph. Well, that's that. Apparently I didn't pick a terrible time to wander into your camp. I think you picked a terrible time to be in your camp, actually. Ah, we have another chance to practice our lock picking. Okay, so it's going to be up just a little bit. And voila! Some gold and lockpicks. Alright, let's go ahead and check this place out. 
I think this is actually going to be a good spot to go ahead and end this video. So we'll pick up the next one as we enter this little camp here. As always, if you enjoy our videos, I hope you'll like and subscribe, and we will see you again soon. Thank you very much.